Hi, third grade. We're going to go over a few words that you will encounter in Unit 1, Lessons 1, 2, and 3 in your math unit. Equation. That's just a math statement that uses an equal sign to show that two expressions have the same value. In other words, it's a math problem with an equal sign. So if your teacher says, look at the equation, they're talking about a math problem. So examples are 4 plus 4 equals 8, 10 minus 5 equals 5, and 3 times 2 equals 6. They all have an equal sign. On the left, 4 plus 4 is the same as 8. So it has to have the same value on each side of the equal sign to be an equation. Another word is multiply. That means just to add the same number over and over again. So 3 times 4 equals 12. Or you can break that down and add 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 to equal 12. Or 4 plus 4 plus 4 to equal 12. It's the same number added over and over again. You're going to come across the word factor. That's the number that is being multiplied. So in this example, 2 times 3 equals 6. The factors are 2 and 3. You're multiplying those together to get the product, which is the next word. That's the result of the multiplication. It's basically the answer. So if the teacher asks, what is the product of 2 times 3? They're looking for the answer, and the answer is 6. An array. An array is a set of objects arranged in equal rows and equal columns. Sometimes it helps you solve problems like multiplication problems. If you need to make an array, here are some examples using pictures and some blocks at the bottom. Times. That's just another word for multiply. Some people might say times instead of multiply. So you can say 3 multiplied by 4 equals 12. Or you could say 3 times 4 equals 12. And again, multiplication, it just repeated addition. So 3 times 12 is actually 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 12. A multiplication expression is a mathematical expression with multiplication. It's just basically saying a math sentence that is multiplication. So 2 times 3 equals 6 is an example of a multiplication expression. And an expression, again, is a math sentence. It's another word that a teacher might use to ask for a math sentence, which is a problem, which is 2 times 3 equals 6. Parentheses. You're going to start to see these a lot more in math. Right now when you see them, they're just showing you a math expression. So you might have 2 times 6 equals excuse me, 2 times 3 equals 6. Now, the way they do this is they might do 2 times 3 equals 6 with parentheses around it, and then you might have another problem that says 3 times 2 equals 6. And to make sure that you see each math expression separately, they put parentheses around it. It's nothing to be afraid of. It's nothing to get scared of. You're just going to be seeing a lot more, and to know that it's enclosing a math expression is what you need to know right now. Thanks for watching and I hope going over some of these words will help you in your first three lessons of Unit 1.